I'm now on the Club Marcus International stand with member David Barlow. Good morning, David. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, and welcome to Classic Motor Show 2017. Thank you very much. Could you tell me a little bit about the club, uh, when it was first formed and for what reason that you formed it? Yep, the club was started in 1986, uh, primarily to look at bringing in international members as well, although the other club, there is a, another Marcus club, Marcus Owners Club, who do obviously the same thing. So both clubs are very much uh, running the same operation. We all run extremely close together. It just so happens to be that two clubs were formed at different times. And can you just give me a brief description of the cars on the stand today, please? Yes, indeed. Uh, if I start from the first one here, this is my own particular car. It's a 1999 Marcus Mantara. It, it's a, a special one-off build, factory build. There, is, there isn't another car like it in the world. It's a unique car. It's a Mantara body shell on what's called a, a Manta Ray racing chassis. So it's got all kinds of different features, completely different to a standard Mantara. It's got a Rover V8 3946cc engine, approximately 200 brake horsepower. There are arguments whether it's 198 or 201, to be fair. Okay. Uh, so, and of course, power to weight ratio, similar to a Ferrari. 0 to 60 and 5.4, 150 plus. Torque is exceptional because it's a V8, of course. And people do say that it will pull away in fifth gear from 50 mile an hour to the 150 plus. I'm sure it will because it drives like an automatic. Yeah. Extremely comfortable. And what about the one in the middle, the orange one? Uh, the, the orange one is the earlier version. It's a metal chassis, and that's with the V6. Uh, again, slightly less in performance. You'll notice that when you take a look at it, it's slightly narrower because over the years, the cars have got wider. That particular vehicle will have a Triumph, probably Vitesse uh, front end steering mechanism. As the years progress, it changed to a Ford Granada, which is wider. And then as you see, the next car further along is even wider still. And what model is that? That is called the Mantis. Now that is uh, a 1996 model, Mantis with a 5.3 litre Rover V8. So it's the standard V8 Rover, but of course bought out to 5.3. Okay. Uh, that one has a 0 to 60 time of 4.5 strap yourself to a yeah, rocket yeah, yeah. incredibly fast but again the best way i can describe it they are marcos mine's had a bit of steroid activity and then as you go to the third one it's had an increased steroid activity so they've all come a little bit of a, a, a good way since when uh, jen marsh first made one out of a wooden chassis very much so <laughs> very much so i mean you look at the wooden chassis and it was called of course the ugly duckling that's and right, yeah, yeah. I think that's a fair, uh, a fair <laughs> comment to be fair on that one. Uh, but they've progressed on there. And of course, the only reason why they changed from wooden chassis to metal, because the wooden chassis was too labor intensive. Yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah. Uh, extremely fast car, extremely lightweight. Yeah. So again, the power to weight, ra weight ratio is Very incredible. Quick, yeah. Yeah. Extremely quick. So going back to the, the club itself, how many members would you say you've got now? Oh, we've got a good few hundred. Uh, the only problem is there are a lot of people who are members who don't have Marcus but who, in, who are interested in Marcus. There are also a lot of members who have Marcus that never come out the garage. You know, uh, unfortunately, I mean, when we have the European meetings, for instance, which tends to be in Luxembourg, we get around 55 cars. Now, that's from all over Europe, from Holland, Switzerland, uh, Belgium and Luxembourg itself. So there aren't that many on the cars. The biggest rally I've ever done, I think we've got around 95, 96 cars based in the UK. So what about the show itself? Has that been beneficial to you? Have you yeah, I've been coming uh, along here for the last seven years. Uh, I know either the Club Marcus International stand or the Marcus Owners Club stand. Uh, it's a great event to come to. A lot of people, the majority have never heard of Marcos, bearing in mind their racing history, of course. Uh, and they show a great amount of interest. And when you explain that, Jackie Stewart started his career in the wooden chassis, Marcos, Derek Bell. Yeah. And then, of course, they became a cult car in the 60s. The Beach Boys had them, Andy Fairweather Low. Uh, they became a, quite a big name. So, so the so, history here is incredible. So it, it, must attract, it must attract young people as well to the stand, youngsters in the 20s and stuff, because they're such a lovely looking car, aren't they? Very much so. Very, very much so. You, you find the two extremes. 
you'll find a young person who's, who's interested in renovating, where can I get one from and, and building one up. And then you'll get, excuse me saying this, the older gentleman who maybe had one in the past, the last springs of life, whatever you want to call it, and, and enjoy it, which is my, my view my, for myself. I built a, a Mini Marcus in 1971 in a garage with no electricity. So I built it with files, hand drills, hacksaw blades, when you're young, I've you been there. It, but yeah, it's part of it, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, part yeah, of growing yeah, up. Yeah. And I always wanted the bigger brother, and I, f I was looking for one, not actively, but 30 years. And I prefer to say this one found me in the valleys in Wales nine oh, okay. years ago. Oh, okay. And absolutely, yeah. it's changed our lives. My daughter had leukemia uh, 12 years ago, and we nearly lost her. Lives for living, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. there's nothing, there's no better way. That's yeah, yeah. why I have on the front one life, live it. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. it's a Land Rover thing, yeah, yeah, but yeah. to me, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, the actual event itself yeah. is brilliant. Yeah. There is a lot of interest, people are enthusiastic. That's why they're here, they're yeah, enthusiastic yeah, right, about yeah, cars, yeah, of yeah. course. Well, thank you very much for the interview, David, and I hope uh, the rest of the show goes well for you. It's absolutely my pleasure, and I hope it's been of some interest. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.